Hi, Timothy here. Right now, I'm in front of a ramen shop called Menya Musashi. This is the same ramen shop that I've featured several times in my videos before. Menya Musashi is one of my favorite ramen chain, with each store has their own specialty. And of course, they have their own specialty here. But that is not the reason why we came here. We came here for... That. Fried Mochi Ice Cream Ramen. It is a collaboration between Menya Musashi and Yukimi Daifuku, a popular Japanese ice cream. And it is limited to 15 servings per day. So let's go check it out. It should be on the limited edition. Hmm, not here? Maybe this one? Ah, there you go. So here it is, the infamous fried mochi ice cream ramen. I would say it is an interesting looking ramen. This fried thingy in the middle is the fried mochi ice cream. And it is surrounded by 4 egg yolks. Together they kinda look like dragon balls. As usual, before we mix everything in, let's try the soup as it is. Oh, that's good. They use a chicken broth as a base, and it is savory and creamy. Now let's try the main star of this ramen, the fried mochi ice cream. Mmm. Oh wow, the ice cream itself is good as it is, but fried, it's even better. And I'm a bit surprised that the ice cream is not completely melted. You can easily find this mochi ice cream at any convenience store. It is called Yukimi Daifuku. On a glance, it doesn't look like ice cream. But when you open it up, you can see the ice cream and the soft mochi skin. Which is what keeping the ice cream together. Now, ice cream is a dessert, so I'm not sure how I should eat this. Should I separate it or should I mix them together? Probably I should mix them together. Let's pop those egg yolks. Mix them up together. Get a little bit of that ice cream. And let's try it out. You know what? Surprisingly, it's good. I don't hate it. It's way better than I expected. I can taste a hint of sweetness, but it is not too strong. Even after I mix all of the ice cream. And it makes the soup creamier. But now that the gimmicks are cleared up, we finally got to see the ramen. There is a slice of chashu, a couple pieces of bamboo shoot, and a thick looking noodles. It's a thick and chewy noodle. And the chashu is also pretty good. But we are not done yet. They also provide a small rice to eat with the leftover soup. I think it's a bit weird. Somehow the rice makes the overall flavor sweeter. Maybe they should stick with noodles. Whew, all done. I was pleasantly surprised how good it was. Unfortunately, this is a limited time ramen. So by the time I upload this video, this might not be available anymore. But at least you can still go try the regular ramen, which is what we are going to do next. Their specialty here is sukemen or dipping noodles. 
They also have ramen if you want to. But we are going to try their specialty. Skemen. Oh wow, this looks good. It looks familiar. But instead of chashu like other places, here they put tempura as the toppings. There is one big tempura, which is a pork tempura. A couple of mysterious tempura. I'm not so sure what this is. Let's give it a try. That is delicious. The soup is thick and rich, and the tempura batter is very flavorful. Granted that it's not very crispy, but flavor-wise it's good. And if you dip it into the soup, it is going to get soggy anyway. Now let's try the mysterious tempura. It is basically a karage. The chicken itself is a bit bland, but the tempura batter is pretty good. Now we gotta try the sukemen itself. The soup is awesome. A thick soup with a thick noodles. You can't go wrong with Minya Musashi sukemen. Even though you might not be able to try the fried mochi ice cream, you can still try their tempura sukemen. It's really good. So come and try it. Anyway, that's gonna do it for now. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.